All right, write down 3x plus half x minus 4. equal <coughs> two third x plus eight. Ah, let me have the logic and good luck. I said plus eight. Is it plus nine? That's fine. Keep going. I said eight. Plus nine looks to me. That's my eight. All right. Okay, Tell me the logic and keep going. Okay. So, it's much easier to bring the two third x mm -hmm. over here. Because mm -hmm. there's a bunch of x's over here. Good. And negative four x in place of two third x. Like this. This goes here, because that's the only spot that's not an X. This goes here. I'm just going to write that down. Okay. 3X plus half X minus 2 third X. Good. Because there's a symbol here, we need it to keep it equivalent. Minus two third x equals, mm -hmm. you know, the equal sign has to always stay there. And we change this here in place of two third x. Mm -hmm. So, four. Why it's four? Because there's no symbol here. I know, but why we don't, it's minus four. It's not, why it's not minus four? Why it's four? Because it's. We have to change it, mm -hmm. so we have to change the symbol as well. What's about the logic of the zero? To reduce it to zero, how do you do that? We have to add four. Very good. And if you add four to the other equation, to the first equation you added, to the second equation, right? Mm -hmm. So it's four plus four. Okay, uh -huh. keep going. Four mm -hmm. plus, this looks like a nine to you. Whatever you want. It doesn't make a difference. Whatever you want to work. Okay, keep going. I see a bunch of x's here. 3x plus half x. So we're going to do this. x is 3. So the gathering? The yeah, gathering to of that group it so it's not all ra random. Or like, yeah, so it's 3. x and here, and x and there, x, x, x. <laughs> oh my god. Everywhere. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. And we can ignore the symbol. It's not an x, blah, blah, blah. And then it's half. And x, and there's two thirds from the other side, so two third. Uh, one second, one second, one second. You're putting three, half, and two third. Uh, there is a lot of signs messed up. So, three, I can see that. But what's in here? Plus, uh, minus, well, what's those? There is nothing there. They're loose. You have to. Minus two. Third. Okay, okay, don't lose that stuff. And plus. Uh -huh, otherwise, how are we going to add them or, or subtract them later on? So don't forget that they go in, in between the parentheses with their signs. The three it has plus. There is no need to put plus. The uh, half it has a plus in front of it. Yeah. And the two third is a negative. So, okay. Can you do me a favor? Close the parentheses before they get of course. and get away from the zoo. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Right. Equals. Equals 4 plus 9 equal. is equals. Equals or equal? Uh, I think it's equal, huh? Equal. Uh -huh. Equals. It doesn't matter. Uh -huh. No, it does matter. 13. Equal. Okay, equal 13. Because mm -hmm. 4 plus 9 is 13. Uh -huh. Which is a piece of cake for you, right? It looks like. Obviously. Yeah. Master edition. Uh -huh. Okay. Master edition. Alright, okay. Can we keep going? Yeah. Go ahead. So now x, so we add this? You tell me, you're the master addition, so work it out. Uh, let me see what's the number though. 
three half and two third. That's that's quite complicated. We have to find the common factors of those. Of, of three half and two third. Three is obviously. What's the common factor one. though? What's the common factor of those three? Common denominator. So I need a. Okay, three is basically three over one. Okay. So it's like three for one. It's a fraction anyway. But one half. Let's just say I'm just gonna go some over here. So here, let me turn it. I'm just gonna figure out the common denominator. Three one. Mm -hmm. I need the common like huh? common denominator. CD. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, okay, well, it's gonna take some time. Greatest or least. Go ahead, okay, go ahead. Okay. And then there's a half. Can you do your question? I'm almost done with my first page. Good. F and th two thirds. Mm -hmm. You wanna see what he's doing? He's doing kind of equation So we need a fun. Oh, look, what a coincidence. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Hey. What's the color? So ahead. we gotta skip count uh -huh. to see which one matches up. Okay. One is always I don't know. Uh -huh. Skip count by one, one, two, three. Uh -huh. So two is common denom denom denominator is six. I like that. Okay, six. Least common denominator. Least common denominator. Okay, Cause six. like which is greatest right? common denominator is going on and on and on. Six, okay. So it's six. Uh -huh. So what becomes your numbers? Six. Yeah, I understand, but three becomes what? Half. Because three six is basically half. Right? No. The three become something under six. What's the top? The numerator. You're gonna change these to something under six. This one is something under six. The numerator of three mm -hmm. would be what? Three. No. If the denominator becomes six, you multiply one times six. So you have to multiply the numerator times six, I think. Three times six is 18. Okay. Is a three equal to 18 six? Yes. Yep. Okay, so that's how we're gonna work it out. Come on. So, this x, three, six, three, six. No, we said that the numerator is six. The numerator is 18. 18, so 18 six. Yeah, but I feel twitchy. I wanna. You feel what? Twitchy. What's a twitchy? Itchy, itchy. Okay, itchy. Hey, come on, too itchy. Yeah, that's what you say. This is taking longer than I'm thinking. Is it explaining probably? Okay. And then there's one sixth. Oh, let me see that. Let me see that. Wait, You're no. You're still making mistakes. You're not changing the numerators. Bad so six yeah. times one. Because yeah. six D times six the numerator so how is six. You, no, you multiply two by what to end up six? Another Twelve. Mistake, another mistake. You forget the sign plus. Do not put number without their sign. So eight six plus. Yeah, 12, six. You multiply two by six. So it's switch. two by three. I mean, let me see that. That's a half. Six is you multiply two by what to end up six? Two times three to So you multiply six. the numerator by the same, which is three. So it becomes three six, which is half. Do not forget to multiply the numerator. So the fraction is three six. Three six, uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's a bad mistake if you forget that. And now I don't have to, I can't forget the signs. It's minus don't seven. Minus seven. What is the minus? Why is it down? That's not good writing. That's put in the same line. Oh. And make some space. Okay, minus okay. seven. Three times what is six? It's you two. Tell me, huh? So there's six on the bottom. Yeah, write it down. Two write times. Down. Get away with that. Write it down six in the bottom. Six in the bottom. Uh -huh. And now that. two times two is four. Go ahead. It's four. Sounds right. Four, four six is the same as two thirds. So. So verification done. Is. We can proceed with confidence, right? Thirteen. Yeah. Equal. Thirteen. Wow. Okay. So. Add me up those 18.6 plus 3.6 minus 4.6. Okay. The Eight, so I add all this. 
add you know, get it off my side, yeah. 18.6. No, you don't have to repeat that. You don't have to repeat that. With the X. Yeah. And the way to do it is, I think you're going to make long one, which is 6 down. And then you do 18 plus 3 minus 4 up, up here, right? We agree on that? Yeah. Right? 18 plus 3 you minus have, 4. Yeah. Uh, how much you got? 18 plus 3 uh -huh. is... 21. Write them down so we know that we did it right. So they do 18 plus 3 minus 4 and then next line. 18. Mm -hmm. plus and this is what's called the common denominator. See? Common 17. denominator. So long line between the three and all of them they have six. Because that's for all fractions, I guess. Mm -hmm. And it's four. Equals 13. Okay, so x is 13, 18 plus 3 is 21, mm -hmm. minus 4 mm -hmm. is 17. Okay. So that's, it's a 17, mm -hmm. 6. Goals mm -hmm. parentheses. You need the parentheses now or not really? Oh no, no, not really, because we only But guess need what? If you don't have the parentheses, you have to put the number close to the x to the left side. Not x, 17, 6, but 17, 6, x. So this okay. part comes here. Means this line, after you finish this one and you know the math, you put the 17, 6 here. Okay. And that's be called very neat. Job. Neat. Neat. Thank you, Ryan. How you spell neat? N-E-A-T. So why we say neat? It's not neat. Neat. No, it's neat. 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 All right, neat. Actually, you didn't get any of them. All right, 17, 6, X equal? 13. Good, we are almost there. How much the X in one shot? 17, 6. X. So, X is how much? 17, 6. No. So, keep going. 17, 6. To get away from... Get away. To reduce, get yeah, we have two. to multiply by... No. Six, no. Yeah, I think you're right, six seventeenth. Six seventeenth. Yeah, seventeen. Oh, six. so you're dividing it. Dividing or multiply by the opposite way. <laughs> the reverse one, opposite That's way. That's dividing. Fraction. And then you'll... Okay, so... Let me just completely... Seventeen split. six. Six seventeenth. X is six seventeenth. No, we're gonna multiply these by six seventeenth. You multiply this. Six, seven, eight. So, so x equal equal six. Mm. Your next line, you work it on the next line. Keep x by itself x equal equal thirteen. Thirteen times what? Times six seventeen. Go ahead. Times six seventeen. And x finally equal. Or. No, 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 no. You don't do me that. Line, next line. Okay. x equal. x equals 13 times 6. 6, 17. How much, uh, how much, uh, 13 times 6? You know what? Can I turn 13 to a fraction just to make it easier? No, you don't do that. 13 times 6, 17. That's all. 13 times 6 is... No, maybe I'm wrong. So 13 times 6 is 17. You do have to find the common denominator for that. Do you? No, because 13 is, is you multiplied by the numerator. So 13 times 6, 17. And there's 17. What's 13 times 6? Working on it. Well, I know 3 times 6. Is nine plus nine, eighteen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, ten times six is sixty. Mm -hmm. Sixty plus eighteen is seventy-eight. I think you're right. Keep going. Go ahead. Write it down. Hammer it down. X. Seventy-eight. Finish it. You got it then. Equals seventy-eight. Seventy-eight. Thank you, Brian. Eight. Divided by seventeen. So seventy-eight seventeenth. 
<laughs> and that's there is no point to do no no further i think because unless you're gonna get the calculator maybe you know we know how much is that I know. don't show them your pants i know but you know hold on a second you ready? You ready? What is this calculator? You wanna do that for us, Brian? Yep. Okay. Alright. Do 17. Wait. I mean, 7, 8. I'm looking for it. Do you know how long lasts this equation, me and you? Oh, there's a couple of hands to play diagram. Minutes. Huh? Yeah, 15 minutes. How much is it? Um, I. Okay, okay. Um, what is it? 78 divided by 17. 78 divided by 17. Easy. Can you round it up? Round it up for us? Um, Can you see anything? And to which number? Which did 4.59. Can you round it up to one digit? One digit? Um, Not me. No, you can. Let's give it to him. One digit. What's how you round four? 4.59, it's close to 4.60, 4 6, 6. 6. Right? yeah, right. 4. so 4. put 6. x equal, don't equal, put like a very appropriate, like the equal, like the sneaky one, almost 4.6, ah, uh, like that, x, what happened, yeah, like that, how about look, what happened, approximately, 4.6, Four. So what we did now is we found the only and the unique value of x that can satisfy Ow. the equality of the equation of the right side and the left side, which is 3x plus uh, half x uh, minus 4 equal to the x plus. No, 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 verification is going to take long. And the Come on. Not, no, no, verification. Are you kidding me? It's gonna be long. Well, you don't go. know it's sure. Hey, I'm sure, absolutely sure, because all steps are all supervising you that it is right. So I thank you to your uh, future student. You may teach one day in Harvard University. No, I'm not. MIT. I'll let you choose out of the top. My future students. Top ten students. Top ten university. All right. Thank you.